Good morning, everyone. My name is Jody Mandel, and I'm a professor in the Department of Communication, former faculty senate chair, and I currently sit on the executive board of the Nevada, Nevada Faculty Alliance. And I stand here today to help the CSN community honor and remember our friend and colleague, Darren Dockstetter. Yeah. I actually started teaching the same year that Darren was here. I even remember being in the new faculty orientation with him. He was one of the first folks that I met when I got to CSN. Darren was a philosophy professor, former faculty senate chair times two, and his latest gig was with NFA as the legal defense chair. And he was currently working on a philosophy textbook. I'm Patrick Villa, faculty senate chair, if you didn't know that. Um, just going to talk a little bit about Darren. With his passing last month, not only did CSM lose a great person, but the world did as well. Um, Darren was one of the most dedicated faculty members I've seen. He was, you know, the reason we're both up here, he was a two-time faculty senate chair, he was a big member of the NFA, and He's one, he was 100% dedicated to both those organizations, something that you don't really get a whole lot nowadays. Um, so a, a few things about him. Number one, he's the definition of shared governance. You know, Dr. Z talked about that earlier. We've heard that many times. I've said it, Jody said it. He is the face of shared governance. Um, basically, I told this to some other people the other night, but Darren was a mentor to me. You know, as a faculty senate chair, he wasn't one of these where he went and told me what to do, showed me what to do. You know, that was what he did. He just acted, and I watched, and I saw how he was. I saw how he helped every single person in this room, whether it was standing by you when you were in a hearing, defending you, writing something for you, working, you know, fighting with the administration, whoever. When he was Senate chair, he would hear your thoughts, and he would bring up policies and enact them. He did a lot for us in this room, whether it was directly or indirectly. Um, what I'll miss most about Darren's passing is that we had a lot of conversations. We would talk regularly about policies, situations arose, people were in trouble. Does this apply to them? Does it apply to somebody else? What's that line saying? We would sit here on the phone and go line by line. And at the end, we knew that when we both had a consensus, we're probably on the right path. We're probably doing the right thing. So, we as an institution, bottom line is, we've lost a vital faculty member in Darren Dockstetter. So, I became most intimately acquainted with Darren when I was his faculty senate chair elect over 10 years ago. In fact, I only ran for senate chair because Darren convinced me to do it. I was scared to death to run, but I ran. Do you know why? because Darren told me that he had my back and that he would be behind me every step of the way. And that could not have been more true. And I think that is what most of us who knew Darren would say about him. He had our back, always. He was our protector, he was our voice, he was our friend, he was that guy that you trusted. Why? Because he listened, he cared, he was logical, he was committed, he was brilliant, he was articulate, he had integrity, he did the right thing, and he always stood up for what he believed in. He worked tirelessly for this institution, and not just for faculty. He worked for students, and he worked for administration. Both sides valued Darren. Both sides trusted and valued his perspectives, his thoughts, his opinion, and his whole overall approach to doing business around here. That is such a rare find. Darren, you will be missed. Thank you for everything you gave to us, for everything you taught us, for every fight you fought for us, for having our back. You will never be forgotten. You are steeped so deeply into the fabric of this college, and I think we all know why. I love you, Darren. I will miss you. 
So we've lost Darren. It's going to be really hard for any one of us to replace him. My hope is that all of us can do just a little bit to try to pick up the void of what, what's been left with Darren's passing. Whether we do a little bit better work, we have a little bit of a more of a smile, we donate to the scholarship in Darren's name, we, we just help out a little bit more. Together as a collective, I think we have a chance to try to equal what he gave us, what he meant to us. Um, so all we can do is try to dedicate ourselves to be better people and hope that the memory of Darren never fades away. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.